the issues that are at stake in this campaign are basically not being discussed. Uh, there are very serious issues. Uh, so for example, uh, uh, it's, uh, the most serious issue uh, has to do with uh, the severe threat uh, that unless we uh, eliminate the use of fossil fuels very quickly, uh, the prospects for organized human life are very dim. Uh, we, I don't have to run through the record. Uh, anyone mm -hmm. who's been paying attention knows this. Uh, so the Trump administration is uh, opening up new, uh, vast new uh, oil f fields for oil prospecting, uh, racing towards uh, destruction uh, with full knowledge of what they're doing, and uh, there's almost no discussion so of this. Noam Chomsky, let me ask you then. It sounds like to you it is actually what President Trump is doing that worries you. It's not the language, it's not the rhetoric, it's not the culture war. It goes right to the heart of his policies on the environment. That's one thing, and the same is true of his domestic policies. So, for example, if you take, just take the uh, achievement that the Republican Party is most proud of, their tax bill, it was uh, uh, the, uh, what economist Joseph Stiglitz called the uh, donor tax bill of uh, 2017. It's an enormous gift to the very wealthy, of virtually nothing for anyone else, and it had the extra advantage of creating a huge deficit, which, uh, as we were at once informed by its architects, uh, Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, it could be used as a way to uh, undermine and uh, eliminate the already rather weak uh, uh, social welfare and benefit system. So, so it's a you, blow at the solar think, plexus do, do, of the population. Sorry. Do you think that Donald Trump uh, has permanently changed politics now? You talk about um, the ecological policy, you talk about tax cuts. In terms of what politics looks like now, do you think he's changed that forever? Not necessarily. He's uh, politically very skilled. Uh, we have to recognize that uh, Trump has two constituencies. Uh, one is the actual constituency, uh, corporate power, extreme wealth, and he's serving them magnificently. Uh, the, uh, can't believe the gifts that he's lavishing upon them. Uh, then there's also a voting constituency, which is quite different. Uh, them he's actually harming seriously, but he has to find a way, and so far has succeeded in finding a way of mobilizing them uh, and making them somehow believe that he's really working for them. And a large part of the uh, uh, rhetorical uh, excesses that he's criticized for are, I think, quite purposely undertaken to try to show I'm an ordinary, I'm really your defender. I'm a straight, ordinary guy. I'm standing up against the hated elites. Uh, I'm working for you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to defend you. While uh, quietly, I'm stabbing you in the back constantly. It's a pretty effective performance.